Hey everyone, it's Alan over at Cobblers Plus and today we're going to be doing a little bit of testing with some cream polishes and uh, maybe some of you have caught my previous video. I did end up having to take that down just because the testing ended up kind of a little off and unfair as well. Uh, so I kind of had to take that down just because it may have sent the wrong idea to a number of people. But for today, we've finally got some additional cream polishes also to test out. So join us, check it out, and see how all these different polishes kind of compare, which ones have certain pluses and minuses, and, you know, just the overall pigment of it. Because we all know that it doesn't matter, you know, if you're using the same dark brown like we're going to be using today but each brand will be a little bit different as far as the shading and which direction of color may go to one might be a little more green one's a little more red and one might magically be a little bit more purple as well so let's check it out and compare these to see really how they kind of stand out between each other and you know makes a little more of an informed decision so join us check it out and i'm going to readjust the camera so it points down and shows the table itself All right, everyone. So again, thank you for joining us. And uh, like I mentioned, a few additional creams. I did end up uh, removing one that maybe some of you have noticed, but that will actually be tested in a whole nother category. Um, this is kind of the polishes that I think that they are very comparable between each other as far as maybe being in the same category, something that you may find a little more readily available, a little more common as well. And uh, I just wanted to kind of showcase and see how they all kind of stack up against each other as far as pigment, you know, um, how well that pigment shows up on obviously, uh, you know, just some fresh leather that has no dye to it or anything like that. Now, of course, these are cream polishes. These are not intended to do any kind of dyeing to the leather uh, on this uh, piece of uh, belt strapping that I have here. I have already used some acetone to remove any finish from the factory that may have been there, but I still wanna test it out just to kind of showcase just just how the application works between them all um, because I have talked to a few of these companies and they were also kind of unsure if a, it was a fair test trying to compare it necessarily because I guess maybe in my video previously it may have kind of showed it in such a way where my intention was to try to dye that leather and that's not the case whatsoever because some of these have a solvent in them um, so that the pigment penetrates deeper into leather some of them are designed and based off of a water uh, type of uh, solution so that they're a little more friendly to work with a little easier to work with and works great on choose to restore the color or bring out a shine on it and then other ones are more of a petroleum based one as well so i just want to kind of uh, you know kind of redo my video sorry so that i can actually showcase that and so that nobody actually thinks that the goal of these cream polishes is to actually change the color of a shoe cream polishes even though they have more dye pigment than say a wax does that does not mean it's going to change the color of your shoes completely it takes time and you know before you can actually change the shoe color. So you have a light brown shoe and you start using a dark brown like we're gonna be using today, it's not gonna turn dark brown right away. It's gonna take a lot of time and a lot of polishing for that to happen. To truly actually change the color, you would actually have to use dyes or paints or whatever you end up using, which down the road we will be testing out as well. But for today, I want to start out with your most important, most basic thing that just about everyone should have, which is a cream polish that has pigment in it. Obviously, there are a few others out there that I don't have here in this video. I will test them down the road, but I'll have to do two separate videos. One for your more readily available stuff, kind of like these here. You can find it a little more frequently at cobbler shops. Uh, in some cases, at even big box stores, you might even find it sometimes. So for today, we're going to start out with Miltonian. We have got the older Miltonian back when SC Johnson was still running the show. Like I mentioned, all of these are dark browns. We've got the new one now uh, owned by Miltonian LLC, I believe it was. Uh, but they're their own company now. Got some Kelly's, which is uh, ran by Feebings, actually. Money's Worth Best, or MNB, Tarago, 
and Saphir Beauty to Cure. So we're going to test them out and see how well they hold up as far as, you know, uh, overall appearance to you. Again, each one is going to be a personal preference type of thing. Not everyone's going to like the same polish the same way. So we'll start out with that old Tarago. Man, that smell brings me back when I was a kid. Now, obviously, you can tell right there, that color is not changing much, but at least gives us a little bit of an appearance. And I'm going to do two coats, so I'm going to go through here. Let's see if I can do these in order. The new one. Come on. Now, the new one here definitely seems a little more like, it's almost like water-based, like it's liquidy or something, so... Right. get some Kelly's now some of these I don't even stock here um, we just don't stock it I usually mostly use Saphir uh, we've got some Tarago and stuff but uh, we're kind of like messing around with different things sometimes we may have like a shipment come in of random stuff and everything as well now that Tarago definitely seems a little more more thick in other words kind of on the drier side almost I got to do a whole video talking about the uh, Kelly's though. Did I say Tarago? Kelly's. Yeah. This one we just don't, uh, we, we don't stock it. Same thing with this. We don't really stock it either. But the point is to really test them out. So, so far, as far as consistency goes, uh, oof, that money worth best just kind of smudged on me. Uh, it's definitely seems like one of the more liquidy ones. Now I gotta test out the smell. It smells a little perfumey. Wanna smell? It smells a little perfumey. I do like the jar of this one. That's pretty cool. I just not sure if I like plastic lids though. I'm not a big fan of plastic. What about Kelly's? That oh that that's right. This one had like a peppermint smell to it. It was kind of weird. Now the one that smells the most like petroleum is gonna be that old Miltonian. Like, if you were to smell it, if you've never smelt it before, you probably hate it. I mean, most people do. Most people do. But I love it just because it reminds me of my childhood. Now, this was one of the issue ones that I had before, the Tarago. I have to make sure to take a little bit there because stuff is a little liquidy. So this one's the water-based one here. Oh man, that turned out way better than my last test, for sure. All right. Whew. Okay. Look at that. I feel like I'm testing out makeups. I've seen people testing out makeup. Now the last one, the Saphir Beauty to Cure. Okay. And this one went on kind of like the thickest, basically. Okay, all right, I'm gonna give this a few minutes to dry and then I'm gonna do a second coat real quick as well. I'll do that off camera so I'm not making this video too long of me just applying cream polishes. But so far, as you can tell, this, oops, this right here has been kind of interesting to see. I'm gonna clip that real quick. I just don't want this thing falling off. But you can definitely see already difference in color and pigment and stuff like that, uh, the evenness and, and everything. Um, each one of these, again, they're different. There's, you know, turpentine in here, pine-based turpentine in, in the Saphir. This one is water-based. This one is petroleum-based. I got to do a little more research on these two here, but I'll probably do a separate video talking about each one of these uh, products here uh, in more detail, in other words. So if you want to stay tuned for those ones, I've already done a video on the Miltonian one here. Uh, because like I mentioned, this one's petroleum based and so is the old one, but the old one you will not find. You may find some old one somewhere in the back of some cobbler's shop or something, um, but that's about it. And then the Tarago one is the water-based one here. So, so far from the look of it, definitely, I mean, the Saphir Beauty Cure is definitely showing a lot more you know, depth where it actually gets soaked into that leather a little bit better and really 
basically changes the color so far. The Tarago seems to have done much more now this time. Uh, it's not quite as even as, you know, say like the uh, Saphir one is, for example. But again, because this one's water-based here, it's, it's going to be a little different to use uh, than something that's got got a little more of a thicker consistency to it um, because it's a little more liquidy and everything it's going to penetrate fairly quick into that leather and takes a little bit longer for it to dry but that also means that it's a lot safer for your leathers so i'm going to give these a minute to dry let's move this out of the way for now so now we can go ahead and do this i've got the uh, piece of paper there test out so this time i've got it actually marked up kind of just took up the whole page in other words but let's go ahead and see color variants while that stuff is drying anyways look at that putting an order there that's pretty cool so i'll use that same spot there's right. the old miltonian there let's go on to the new miltonian now the old one obviously it's an older jar and stuff and it's not surprisingly not so dried out. I was very surprised how well these held up. I've had them for quite some time. That's just, I guess what you get with the petroleum based stuff. It's going to probably hold out longer as far as just sitting there on a shelf, honestly, because it is, you know, petroleum. So it's going to probably hold out longer on a shelf sitting there than most of these other products. But again, which direction do you want to take your polish? Do you want something that's going to store for a long period of time versus going this direction? I guess you can almost say in order as far as what's going to be more long-term beneficial for your leather goods. Quite literally, I actually put it out in order, and that was kind of funny. I think that would probably be my pick as far as what's going to be the longest storing, starting from here to probably here. But because of that, um, the natural ingredients starting from here backwards is going to be a lot safer long term for your shoes it's going to be a lot more beneficial and everything so just uh, thought i'd point that out now let's move on to the good old kelly's right there try to spread that out nicely now there's one thing i didn't test last time that i want to uh, smudge some polish right there so we're going to make sure we stay right in that corner of money's worth best so that doesn't get too mixed up. There we go. All right. There we go. Then the Tarago. Now, this kind of shows just how different each brand will be with their dark brown. Again, all of these are a dark brown. Not a single one of these is medium brown or anything like that. You know, so they're very different. Okay. And then finally... And I'm trying to reuse the same spots, obviously. I got them in a nice, beautiful order, actually, on this towel here. There we go. Have to just sit there for a minute like that. There you go. That just shows how different the colors all are right there. You got your old Miltonian. It's kind of almost got like this greenish tint to it. The new Miltonian, it almost looks like a probably a medium brown to a light brown this is on white paper got your kelly's right there for example that one looks more closer to almost like a medium to chestnut money's worth best is very close to that kelly's the tarago is very dark but i'm wondering if that's you know because after all it is a dark brown and it's water-based and it's just penetrating so so much into that paper we'll flip it over here in a second to really see before it completely dries and then the saphir beauty cure has got more of that kind of burgundy-ish red tint to it in other words so let's see on this side none of them actually penetrated through i thought that I, I thought that tarago would have this is actually just a smudge right there so none of them penetrated through the paper that's great means they're they're doing what they're supposed to as far as you know um being still safe to a certain degree on your leather goods because obviously you want something more like a dye to penetrate deep or a polish like these it still has a certain amount of waxes in there so it has to settle over top and give it that nice glow and protect that leather as well so these are doing pretty good as far as uh penetrating through that leather we're going to let this dry for a little while like i said i'm going to test out a little bit more with this page here all right everyone so 
I've gone ahead and uh, applied the second coat and given it some time to dry, buffed it up and everything. So just to kind of give you an idea of what I actually did. But as you can tell, there's a little bit of like smudginess looking around on some of them. That's because I actually went back and forth just on one half, everything on this side. Um, to me, it's on my right. To the camera, it's probably on its left, but I don't know how it's gonna turn out on the screen. But basically anything on this side here, um, from the halfway mark like that there was applied a second coat and so there's only one coat on the opposing side now this kind of gives us some good ideas to be able to see what happens meaning talking about that anyways i'm gonna go ahead do go back to the paper anyways give it just a second what i'm trying to do is no, of course i didn't get one let's do this i'm gonna spread a little bit of water here use my pinky here and apply that there, 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 and there. And let's see if I can show this real quick. Now, see that little water droplet? So there's that Saphir. Look how beautifully that water droplet's sitting there. There's the Tarago, the Kelly's, the Money's Worth Best, the Miltonian Old, and the New Miltonian. I'm going to let that sit there for a little bit because the goal of this, I want to see how well that wax is holding up in each one of these, you know, products, in other words, because they are, some of them already starting to soak in to the, into the paper. And, um, I want to see which one has more consistency as far as uh, the wax in there itself because wax again is something that's going to protect your leather uppers it's going to prevent water from soaking in but you can already see it going in significantly it looks like Tarago soaked it in completely money's worth best almost completely there too so again the Tarago it seems like it's got more of that pigment so you've got to break these down where one cream is going to have more pigment so it's going to restore the color a little bit better one has more waxes so it's going to bring out more of a shine on it um, so it's kind of different just because one is going to absorb more water than the other one doesn't necessarily mean that it's better completely than the next polish it's just a comparison between them uh, yeah money's worth best soaked it in completely kelly's is soaking it in pretty good um, the only one that's not soaking in is the Saphir Beauty Cure. That is, that's so cool. I got a little droplet there. Let's see, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's that little itty bitty droplet there. I can probably roll it around, but I don't want it sliding off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it sit there for a little while. That's pretty cool. All right. Yeah, money's worth best completely soaked it in. I'm really going to dive in deep with M&B and uh, Kelly's to do a separate video and Tarago as well. I've already talked about the Saphir one, the Miltonian ones as well. Miltonian, the old Miltonian is completely soaked in. That uh, Kelly's is still still hanging in there, but it's almost like the water droplet is just spreading out on that one. And then the uh, new Miltonian is also almost done. And that Saphir Beauty Cure is still hanging in there strong. I'm going to be curious just to see how long that holds out for. All right, so now we're on to the belt strip. Let's do the rub off test. Will it rub off? Rubs off just a little bit right there. Let's move on to the new Miltonian. That was the old Miltonian that I showed first. A little less on that one there. See, you could actually even notice it. I'll show you guys here in a little bit. Kelly's. Oh, that one did pretty good there. Actually, no. Miltonian actually did a little better with the rub off. Money's worth best. Right there. Tarago. It doesn't seem to appear as much. I mean, it is a darker brown on that one. And then Saphir. Ah, that hurts my finger. I do that so many times. There you go. They're also in order there, so seems like the old Miltonia rubbed off the most over here. Let's see, Saphir and Tarago did pretty well. 
and money's worth best. It, they're almost like in perfect order, in other words, except for maybe the Kellys versus the Moltonia. If these were switched around as far as being rubbed off onto clothing or anything like that. But again, you saw how much pressure I was applying and I was scrubbing in one spot. This just kind of shows, you know, how how well the uh, wax is even bind to the leather as well. So that's kind of a nice little thing to see on them. But oh, didn't mean to swing that in your faces. Let's set that right there. And now the other test. Probably should have left a little droplet of water. Let's do this again. But that beauty cure is still hanging in there. Everything else has soaked in. Everything. That's crazy. All right, I'm gonna do a little streak right there. Streak right here. Streak right there. Streak right there. Streak right there. And streak right there. Okay. Now, I'm wondering if the camera is already showing it, but it looks like the uh, Meltonian is already allowing that water to penetrate in. Kelly's definitely is significantly. Money's worth best is somewhat hanging in there. Tarago's actually hanging in there pretty good. See, look at that. The difference between the leather or the uh, leather strip versus the piece of paper. And the Saphir, just, to, just like the piece of paper, it's not, it's not letting it do anything. But yeah, the old Miltonians completely soaked it in. The new Miltonians, well, not completely soaked it in. It's completely allowed the, the water to penetrate through to the leather. Um, same thing with the new Miltonian, the Kellys. Money's worth best is slightly doing it. It's almost like they're in perfect order as far as which one is allowing the uh, water to start penetrating into that leather. I can't really lift it up too high necessarily, but they're in the same order as I have them here. Um, Actually, this one looks well. We gotta look at speed a little bit. Even though I applied this one first, this one's actually almost completely dry. Surprisingly, it's it's allowed it to penetrate in. But let's see. Saphir is, I think, just is it? I'm trying to see, can't tell if it's allowing that water to penetrate in. I think it is, but we're also going to see if it causes any damages to the leather, if there's going to be any permanent staining as well. So I'm going to let that linger around for a little while. But look at that. Look at that beardy cure there. Can I make this little water droplet roll? All right. So, sorry, my camera kind of overheated there for a second. But look at that little droplet. It is still hanging in there. That beardy cure is kicking butt. Now, on the piece of paper here, it looks like... You can see some areas here, like look at the Kellys right there. You can see where the water droplet was. It kind of uh, discolored. It made it a little bit darker. The uh, old Miltonian just a little bit. The new Miltonian just a tiny bit too. Money's worth best. It didn't seem to do too much to it. And then the Tarago, even though it let it penetrate through, it didn't cause any kind of damage whatsoever to even the piece of paper. Um, now on here, look at that. So... Obviously water is damaging and we don't have anything else applied to this leather. So we have allowed the water to penetrate into the leather for a long period of time, basically. Now, as far as which one caused damage, you can see maybe a little bit of discoloration there on the Miltonian. It even kind of made that leather pucker up a little bit. The new Miltonian, same thing, but it didn't let the leather pucker up. The uh, Kelly's, kind of a little bit of both. Puckering up means that it kind of has like a bubble almost form. The uh, Money's Worth Best, same thing. Tarago, same thing. The only one that's kind of like, you know, the least amount of water damage and hasn't puckered up would be the Saphir Beauty Cure. Just because I don't see that leather raised at all. Yeah, there's, there's not much to it there. Definitely feel more of a bump there, there, there which is interesting on the petroleum-based product from Miltonian there. There's not much puckering there, but definitely more discoloration probably than, or there's definitely more discoloration here in the old Miltonian, but this one would probably be second most discoloration, I would say. Now, 
as you can tell how the spreading is and smudging over here on the Tarago is kind of the consistency. The Saphir Beauty Cure, even though I put a second coat on there, has a nice smooth transition between where the second coat was applied and the uh, first coat. The Tarago has a little bit, a little bit more. I guess you can say spottiness to it, but again, that's because it's more of a water-based one and everything, so um, it doesn't penetrate as hard or as deeply into the leather immediately. It takes time for it. It's almost like applying something to a surface area. The goal is to kind of restore that color on the top, where the Saphir Beauty Cure, for example, is going to penetrate into the leather so that it can allow it to get nourished. Um, same thing with the Money's Worth Best. It doesn't... It, doesn't settle over top like the Tarago does. It's designed to penetrate a little bit more. Um, and so it has a little better transition as well. But again, I have to dive in and figure out what is inside this money is worth best and the Kelly's. The Kelly's, however, has a little bit more smudginess to it as well. Miltonian has a good transition and the old Miltonian probably is the most noticeable between all of them as far as, you know, the second and the first coat. But that one is mainly because I got that streak there. You can see where I was applying it over and over. And so there's just that divide there. And that's why a single coat in most cases is plenty enough. You don't need multiple coats. Just a nice thin coat, allow it to soak in. But overall, man, that, this is still driving me crazy. That little, that little dot right there. Okay, I'm going to ruin it. I'm going to ruin it. Uh, it just moves around. It won't even soak in. I got more on my finger. Yeah, look at that. It's gone. It did penetrate a little. Look at that. Look at these. But anyways, I'm rambling. We'll give this one last test and a bit of a sacrifice here of my own shoes. Where I will use the dark brown on one of my pairs that I was using for experimenting because they are in rough shape. These are my Red Wing shoes here. These are a little bit more on the medium brown side, but uh, I could still use a dark brown on here. So let's go ahead and test this out on just random spots because eventually I'm gonna clean everything off anyways. I have to give these a bath. Let's start out with the uh, Old Miltonian. We're gonna give this spot to the Old Miltonian right there on the side. Okay, kind of going in order again with a fresh spot. Money's worth, or the uh, new Miltonian. The new Miltonian, you can see it's got the lightest pigment in there. That's crazy how different light that, that looks. Give this spot to the new Miltonian. Now these shoes, I will be honest, have not been cleaned. This is for the people that only use one product, and if you were to only use one product, which would be a cream polish like this. Okay. So we'll probably do, uh, let's go like this. Okay, Kelly's. I'll do it on the toe. That Kelly's is thick, like it's thick. We'll give that toe right there for the Kelly's. Doesn't seem to do too much to restoring that that toe area, sadly. All right, I'm gonna set that there for the se for a second to dry. Okay, now we're gonna do this area here. Let's do the money's worth best. Now, because obviously, again, what I did for testing is on that belt blank. that section Tarago it's like bouncy super bouncy I ended up taking too much because I was having fun with how it bounces Tarago gotta kind of spread this one like we always say with Saphir less is more well that one seems like less is more as well, like a lot. I'll wipe some of it off. All right, now the most beat up toe. Left to my favorite one, the Saphir Beauty Cure. 
which actually matches these shoes probably better than any other cream. All right, everyone. So we got it all tested out. So we've got the uh, uh, the Meltonium, the old one there. It's kind of given it a little bit of a shine, nothing too crazy. Uh, same thing with the new one. It restored a little bit of the color there, but not too much or anything. Hasn't done too much for any of the scuffing there. The Kelly's right here on the toe now obviously i try to keep these a little bit dirtier so that you guys can see i don't want to buff them off too much i just buffed the areas a little bit there um so the kelly's hasn't done much for the color or the uh scuffing there but it give it gave it a little bit of a shine almost equivalent to like a neutral color if i was to use that in other words now we go on to the uh m b money's worth best it did something but i can't quite tell what it did it seems to have darkened up the area hasn't done too much to actually restore the color per se but it definitely darkened up that area some uh it gives it a little bit of a shine not not too crazy or anything like that the tarago right there you could definitely notice that a bit more it looks like it's a lot more in, in pigment uh, strong in other words it's got more pigment to it now obviously it's a bit on the darker side as well but even if it's on the darker side it did seem to really in infuse that leather as if with the pigment um, which is kind of kind of nice I mean you could probably use this if you used this on a lighter color like a light brown shoe it probably darken it faster than any of the other polishes as well uh, and then you've got your saphir right there now the saphir kind of did a little bit of everything uh, not too heavy on either side so it's restored some of the color right there some of the scuffing as well has been taken care of and it gave it a nice little shine too so it it's small little area like that big there that i did for that toe there not quite as big as the tarago that tarago spread you know a lot in other words i'm so used to the saphir already which again less is more but with the trago i'm not quite used to it so i accidentally put on too much and just kind of spread it out and got it all over the place but definitely it seems like obviously we we use saphir almost exclusively here at our shop um and that that's my pick. That's what I would personally recommend. Um, if you have access to it, you can always, again, order it from our website if you need to as well. It seems to do a little bit of what you, everything that you would need because it's got the solvents in there. It may help clean it up, remove some of the waxes or kind of spread out the waxes from the previous polishing that you may have done. Um, that solvent will help significantly with that. The solvent will also allow the pigment to penetrate a little bit deeper into the leather, kind of enriching it. And it's also got your conditioning elements to it um, and it kind of goes down from there Tarago seems to be a little more powerful on the pigment side it's water based so it's gonna really as you as you can tell kind of bring out that color and just almost to the point that it's going to change the color not only that it's one it's the darkest brown out of all of these dark browns here i mean it's it's almost on the piece of paper it's almost like a black or a gray on there but uh it's definitely got the strongest pigment at all even if i used a lighter color it, I, I bet it would still probably do very similar because it that leather just soaked in that pigment whether it was on the shoes the shoes it, it did a lot better than on this obviously as you can tell uh but less is more with those two the uh, mnb and the kelly's are kind of like that mid-grade i would say between all of them does a little bit of everything kelly's kelly seems to not have done all that well as far as on the shoe as far as like any scuff repair or restoring the color sadly but it's still obviously a polish and it's going to help restore some of that uh some of that color to the shoe anyways not a whole lot but it'll do enough in other words meltonian even though this one was the lightest dark brown out of them all which is crazy i don't know how they consider that a dark brown that's like a chestnut almost or walnut color or something along those lines um it it did all right it gave a nice shine i mean definitely it has a little bit of a of a glow for sure in that area there but uh it, it's a petroleum based product i mean it dries fast it's going to do what it needs to it's got a longer shelf life because it's again a petroleum product and then this one it's not going to be available to anybody anymore i just i just really wanted to test it out compared the old to the new obviously um but all these other ones that are currently available and stuff 
it's going to be your personal preference whether you're after the pigment something a little bit on the stronger side that may potentially change your shoe color here something that you can use often and it will help extend the life expectancy of your shoes or if you just want a really quick shine probably in these three categories well probably in those two categories i would say would give you the quickest shine just to get it done get it out of the way however these three here don't expect them to really nourish your shoes long term so that these shoes are going to last you for a very long time and all that but uh, again my recommendation is always going to be the Saphir products and that's the way we would go but anyways if you have any questions or comments leave them down below shorter questions or comments please if they're a longer one send us a message on instagram at cobblers plus co or on facebook cobblers plus if you're wanting to get your hands on any of this stuff right here um, you can check out our website cobblersplus.com or if you need any other services it's on there as well and uh, as always uh, thank you for watching hope you enjoyed make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell icon in the bottom corner next to the subscribe so that you can be notified when we continue on with this belt blank with more polishes and creams or all these cream polishes and then also to be notified when i do my other test with other cream polishes because this is kind of your mid-range between the five to ten dollar mark on average um we'll do some maybe that hit maybe like a twelve dollar mark if there are polishes like that out there uh so this is going to be that this belt blank this piece of paper and that's what we're testing out with this lineup here is your low to mid range kind of thing and then the next video i'm going to test out is kind of more of that premium option it's less available harder to find but i didn't feel like it was the right way to do it a number of people also told me it might not be fair to compare high grade polish that's like in that $20 uh, price point versus say like a $5 polish or something that you know just was not a fair comparison whatsoever and i think i'll do a separate belt blank for that and separate piece of paper and just kind of compare one-on-one -on -one with other shoe polishes in that category also we're going to be testing out other products in the near future as well so make sure you're subscribed as always um and that bell icon is definitely going to help notify you thank you for watching hope you enjoyed share this with any family or friends especially if they're new to the shoe game new to the shoe community um, if you have been trying to convince somebody to get better shoes higher quality shoes doesn't necessarily have to be a thousand dollar pair of shoes but you're just recommending certain shoe brands that it might be great this video will help them identify why there are polishes in certain categories why some polishes may be you know five dollars why others might might be like ten dollars type of thing that's kind of what this uh, this video is to try to help obviously this video is going to be for the more um more of the new person to the industry somebody who's more of a noob nobody that's quite experienced but even if you're experienced in the shoe game cobblers obviously they'll probably be watching this video because i know cobblers that use this i know cobblers that use this i know cobblers that used to use that they didn't know this existed yet until recently i know cobblers that use this and i know cobblers that use that so even in the cobbler game cobblers all think that their product is the best but obviously there is always going to be something that's better out there or you know something that's going to be more useful for a certain uh, certain requirement in other words some cobblers their goal is to try to really change up that color some just want to polish it up and get it right out that door really fast and some want to make sure that life expectancy of the shoes is extended for as long as possible so that kind of I feel like I was pushing out cards there for a second, but that kind of breaks it down for you. Why, which polish is going to be beneficial for what category of shoes. And hopefully this helped you out again. Thank you for watching. I've been extending this video way too long. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.